The following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! Go Cowboys! This, this is the Players' Lounge. Broadcasting live from Dallas Cowboys World Headquarters at the Star. Now, your hosts, Barry Church, Danny McCray, Heckma Harrison, and Nui Scruggs. Players' Lounge brought to you by Tostitos. That's right. Let's go, USA. He is Heckma Harrison in the house. Mm -hmm. Barry Church, former Dallas Cowboys Mm -hmm. safety. In the house, I'm merely Nui Scruggs. And, man, the Colts last night. Wow. Yeah, man, man, I need a refund on my time watched. Yeah, that, time spent. It. That, that was not good. You didn't like that? No. The fighting Saturdays. No. You didn't like what Saturday put you didn't out like there? like that? The time management? Man, mm. man, man. Mm. Man, I mean, you know, of course, had to hear somebody talk about, you know, uh, here, Eric, the enemy doesn't interview very well. I'm like, okay, okay. Mm. Uh, but, you know, Frank. Jeff Saturday's interview must have been damn real good, huh? He yeah. got the job to be interviewed. I mean, just what are you doing out there? Share a couple what? beers with the owner. Yes. You're good. What are you doing out You're there? Good. The Colts get uh, beat by Pittsburgh. They didn't exactly look good either. Nah, no, they, they look bad. They didn't look good either, look but bad. you know what? Mike Tomlin and company get the win. Cowboys face the Colts, and you think about what they're dealing with now. Here are the Colts playing Monday night football. At least they had it in their house. Now they got to turn around and come down here to uh, Jerry World for mm. Sunday night football. And America has to watch these two, this team. On prime time, one more time. That ain't. That's just not right. It ain't right. That's not right. They need to get flexed. No, but you know the Cowboys they ain't never gonna get out. They ain't gonna. Get, the, look, the onus is on the Cowboys to put on the whole to carry the whole thing. <laughs> I mean, really, you know, you I'm tell you right now, you're gonna see all these vignettes, like you know, uh, behind the scenes with Michael Parsons. I mean, you really, you are. I mean, that's because of the potential of how bad this could be. It's going to get up. Okay. I mean, you go see some vignettes on, on, on Trey Diggs' son and, you know, he and Aiden. Right? I mean, this is, heck, you, heck That's you're, my dad. Heck, you do, you do games. You know how it is. Hey, what's our plan when this thing out of hand? What's the plan? What are we going to talk Ooh. about? So, what do, you, like, what do you and Kyle have when you guys are doing a game and it gets out of hand? What do you do? What are the wedding plans looking like? You know? <laughs> you <guys> are, <laughs> you got, start talking about I mean, you know, what? It, in those situations, man, especially when it's a complete beatdown, that is – I was – I really felt bad for Troy last night, man, mm. and, and Buck. I'm sure they had moments where they was like, we signed up for this. Mm, they did. We signed up for this. A healthy check. Yeah, but it, it was healthy um, and not very competitive at all. I mean, look, Indy, Indy got a, a whole host uh, of problems. And, and, again, I don't want to – I've done this before. I, I've signed myself up for this whole taking people for granted. I'm not going to do it again. I don't want to do that. You know, I want to talk about them in, a, in terms of X's and O's and feel like they can come in here and get them a dub. Well, I'm going okay. to go ahead and do it for you. I'm going to do it for you. Do it for me, dog. You can go with Mike McCarthy. Mike McCarthy. Yeah, all right, you know, I get it. all over there. I, I, I get it. All right, man. Come, come on. Good. This team's terrible. I mean, let's just, let's just call a spade a spade. The team is terrible. I know Matt Ryan was a former MVP. He had all the glitz and glamour, took him to a Super Bowl, but he's not that anymore. My guy is a statue in the pocket, and we all know what this defensive line does to statues in the pocket. They tee off and get crazy on them. I understand they got the guy in the backfield. You know, Taylor, he is a dog back he's there. Right. But they, the, the O-line, it ain't what it once was. Yeah, ain't got you love the spat. Him. What about the spat there, Matt? Uh, he's got this both spat. Got and you talking about some thick spat. <laughs> That man got, <laughs> well, got some skiing boots on, man. What are you doing, man? Guys? And then he got the nerve to think he can still run. Like, I've seen the guy get yeah. out of the pocket like, yeah. Uh, man. Uh, nah, nah, you yeah. ain't going nowhere, I think nowhere, I can. I think I can. Chugga, I think chugga, I can. chugga, chugga. I can. I can. If I just I turn the corner. I can fly. Nah, man. It ain't it, man. Um, it ain't it. So, Church, as a former player, is this what a, a Pro Bowl game? Like, hey, man. Especially Bolton's coming around the corner. Right, right, right. Trying to get this you know, so on national TV. Get them stats right. Football. Like, hey, man, it's Matty Ice. And, and you know you dig and you know the pick. I can see this uh, being the same type of like Minnesota. <laughs> Remember how they went? Everybody was teeing off. It's my turn. It's your, slap the hands. I'm slap. That's yeah. how this game is going to be. All right, they, they, they trying to get those Pro Bowl votes. Dig's going to get maybe one or two picks to get his numbers up. Parsons might get a sack or two, get his numbers up. I mean, it, this is a get right game. This is a, to me. This is this is a get right game. Oh look, I mean, this is this is a Pro Bowl game. I mean, you, you got to you know if you're Doris Armstrong, you hey, you got eight sacks. Hey man, well, if I get the double digits here, if you there Dante Fowley on a one year deal, yeah, I got five right now. How can I add some more to the bucket here to uh, to, to get myself rolling? So. Um, Heck, man, I understand you don't trust this team, and that's great. And I understand you 100%. But, fellas, this is one in the locker room. You said, guys, guys, okay? 
we need to take care of business here. This team is is not good. Mm-mm. They're coming down. They short week. They're coming down. Man, let's go ahead and put these cats out there. Misery. Got to do it early too. Right, right. I mean, this should be from from the gate. Crack, crack. Yeah. <laughs> What's it? Was it Glass Jaw Joe? Yeah, Did Glass Jaw Joe. This the one. <laughs> <laughs> look, no, look. My trust level. First of all, first of all. <laughs> hey man, y'all know me, man. I have, you have to. I have to bring a plunge in here. I talk so much stuff about my team, man. Don't, don't get it twisted. I feel like yeah, we're gonna come in here. We're gonna handle our business. That's the way we're supposed to look at this. But looking down the stretch at this season, it's just so much that we still have to take care of. Jonathan Taylor can't come in here and have mm-hmm. you know, reinvigorate his game uh, on on our defense. You know, uh, what's his name? Jelani Woods, the tight end. I saw him last night. He had a pretty big game. You know, that's still some things that we've seen with tight ends against us. With Jerron Curse coming back from his injury, now he's he's feeling better. Although he did go down, I don't know if you guys heard anything mm-hmm. about his status or whatever. He came back at the end of the game, but looked like he had a shoulder or something like that. But either way. Look, Jeff Saturday may be in the same situation as your guy from Denver. A little bit in over his head. He does have a great coaching staff, his his defensive coordinator, what have you. Um, But this is a game that I'm looking at for the Cowboys to go in and take care of their business. I mean, I'm literally put your – Pimp a hand down. <laughs> you know, and make this thing, make this thing, get it over with. Like we were talking about last week of, uh, versus the Giants. Get it over with in the first half. This team, some kind of way, tends to, like, they started slow last week they versus did. the Giants, and they did. And the one thing that is worrying me, guys, seriously, is the penalties. I, 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 mm. The penalties, it's a problem because it makes a bad team look good, and that's something that we got to take care of, you know. And y'all know I'm the first one to jump out the cake. <laughs> okay, the cake. y'all ready to jump out the cake? You ain't gotta, hey, hey man, you gotta send me an invitation for that. There it is. I, I really think we want. I want to apologize to Jeff Saturday for what Heckman just said, um, comparing him to to Nathaniel Hackett. Nathaniel Hack is the worst coach in the game. I mean, just, I mean Saturday's dudes at least fought back and took a lead for a minute. Yeah, they believe in it. I mean, yeah. right, I mean, you got. I mean, D- Denver is terrible. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to be an offensive coach, man. And your boy Russ, Russ can't cook no more. Did you see? Uh, you see the clip I sent you from James Brown? <laughs> So James Brown, the, I mean, you know, you, they don't get more professional than, and iconic than James Brown. So James Brown is sitting up here doing the highlights on CBS. He's like, "All right, Broncos country, let's ride to another L." Oh yeah, <laughs> that hot L. They catching said, them L's, let's, man. Let's Broncos country, let's ride to another L. Mm. This, they, they, literally, he he had. I don't know what they're waiting on. They have to fire him. Yeah, he's Say, out of there. Jeff Saturday is an interim coach. This is a guy who's been in the league, whose mm-hmm. dad was supposed to be this, you know, good football coach, Paul Hackett during his time. I mean, they're terrible. They bad. But that's no, bro. No, no. That's that's some. I don't. They've quit on him. Oh yeah, you can see the players they, don't believe in it. I mean, you say, yeah. you, you've been around for one of those. At least you know in like. Detroit, you can see that they'll, they'll they'll play for Campbell. They're going out there. You can see first half, second. They're in games. They're fighting for, and they believe at least believe in their coach. This, I mean, ain't, ain't nobody believing in Hackett right now. I mean, Sam Darnold was buried on the bay with number three. Sam Darnold starting the game, up here completing touchdowns and and running for touchdowns. They gave up on him. And, yes, they have given up in, in Denver. So, um, sorry, but. My man's going to get a call. Uh, Dan Quinn is going to get a call. Uh, you know, okay. Dan Quinn should get a call from Indianapolis. Yeah. Why, you know what? If Dan Quinn is not on your list to talk to in Indianapolis and Carolina and and back to Denver again, then you're not doing you're, you're yeah. not doing it right. When you talk about a guy, former Super Bowl coach, um, he, he should be there. By the way, Dan Quinn, very nice to, to Matty Ice yesterday. You know, I, was, I thought that was really cool. I was cool. his boy. I, you yeah, know, I he helped him get cool. to the Super Bowl at right, one right. point. I, so thought then, that was pretty, I thought that was pretty cool to him. But they don't score, Heckman. I was just looking up here. Um, 25 and 34 points. That, they've done that just twice. But other than that, man, they're just scoring 20 and under a game. They don't score. They ain't going to win you games. Not against this team. You, you know, you can't come here to Jerry World throwing up 20 points. Think you're gonna walk out with a dub because that defense is not that. That's not that deep. Mm-mm. It's not Mm-mm. that deep. Now I got to put him to sleep early. And, and the thing that really was surprising me, I don't know if you guys what you thought about the how Saturday handled the end of the game. 
with the timeouts yeah. and the time and all of that. I mean, what what were your thoughts on that? I mean, first of all, I, I was surprised they they marked him down that short because I right. thought you know what I mean if you if you dive forward, I thought he had the distance to get the first down. But whatever the case may be, I felt immediately after that, bang Hit it, the time. bang the yeah. time out. You know what I mean? Why not? Why wait? They can't go with you to the next game, mm-hmm. so why not just bang it out right there? Did not roll over minutes. No, I ain't know like team over. <laughs> I don't even think they do that that no more. They'll bring the Sunday. (laughs) Nah, man. No peak hours no more. I've got five here for Sunday night. Got five. (laughs) Not the anytime minutes, man. And and that's it. And that's the thing I I thought thought that was really kind of interesting, the way that his clock management at the end of the game, maybe that affected them in being able to draw up something. And to me, that that call to him as a coach and being able to execute in those moments. And I think, you know, it's the situational awareness of it that most coaches that have been coaching for a long time, they are aware of that. And that those are the kind of things that they handle. Maybe just, that's, And that's why I say Jeff Saturday maybe was not prepared for that moment. He may know football, you know, the X's and O's of it, but it's the clock management part of it that'll get you beat or not allow you to get a win. Yeah, it's it's you know, Jeff tried to defend his hiring by saying, you know, I I played this game, I've been around when, hey man, that that stuff's all good, and they, but but you should know and have an appreciation for what these guys do. As coach, it's a skill, yeah, it is, and, and it and it is hard. I mean, I enjoy the fact when you listen to Mike McCarthy's press conferences, he'll talk to you about things he did as a younger coach. He's like, hey, look, I, I, I had teams hitting too much. I've done these things before. Um, he even talked about how he's trying to dial some things back right now for these guys going later in the day to try and help them. Um, there's an art to learning this profession. And Jeff Saturday, is he, he's not ready for it. At he's all. just not. Yeah. And, and this is nothing against him. I like Jeff Saturday personally. Um, it's hard. And when they come here, they're going to try and run the football. They ran the ball 25 times for 110 yards last night. But you shut down Jonathan Taylor, who, by the way, had 86 <coughs> yards and a touchdown last night. You shut down Jonathan Taylor. This whole thing is done. You do your job offensively, and you get up on them. You know, you're putting up points. Mm-hmm. They can't score with you, which means they're going to have to throw. And if they're going to have to sit back there and have mighty ass drop by, by 34, 40 times a game, man, this, it's going to be a bunch of dudes eating like we saw against Minneapolis. I mean, sometimes, you you know, the schedule makers help you out. Styles make fights. Indianapolis is in a very – they're in a chaotic situation with their organization right now, going through changes. Be the Cowboys. Take the gift you have and and uh, and put a bag in it. Take glass jaw, glass jaw Joe Joe. out in the second quarter and and, and in this thing and and get yourself ready for uh, Houston. Yeah. yeah, which ain't much better. But this, this is nah, man. <laughs> See, it ain't much better. Nah, it ain't much. They ain't much better. This is a game that truly, if you make this squad one dimensional, like you said, if you take Taylor away, who? What do they have? I mean, you look on the outside. You know, Pittman. He can make some catches here and there, but nobody's scared of Pittman. He ain't gonna run past nobody. He's you've seen classic. better receivers. You've seen it. You've, you've seen, seen better, better receivers. receivers. You've seen better tight ends. If you truly can make this team one dimensional and force Matty Ice to try to get back in the days of his MVP days, that's the only chance they got. And he's a statue in the pocket. I'm scared. I'm really scared for him. He's going. He, I'm scared for he him. Better tap out. He better. He better. He better. <laughs> I'm scared for him. That's Sam. Come on yeah. in, that's Sam. What, I'm scared for him. <laughs> Dude's getting the whole. Get out the way, Heck. I'm, 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 I'm going now. Get out the way. I, I got it now. Heck, heck, let me go. Let me no. go. That's, that's, that's what it is, man. It's, it's not gonna be good. It ain't gonna be good. For he is. Around. He is a stationary target. He doesn't have a lot of movement at all. He, I mean, he's a throwback quarterback. Yeah. You know, seriously, uh, they gonna have to put him back in like punt formation. <laughs> He's one of them guys that you see, like, if he sees pressure coming, he's just going to try to throw the ball. Yeah, he's going to get rid of that thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He got it. He got it. And that's going to lead to interceptions. I'm telling you. Hot potato. He got the ball. It ain't me. It could be, it could be another Kirk Cousins-like type of performance, man. You're trying to run. No, it really it's, can. I mean, it, 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 it's that way. And hopefully, and this comes back into the trust. When we, we say right now we, we, have, we don't have full trust yet, but this team, you, you've got to realize it. Um, this is not a good football team. Mm. You believe you're a good football team. Go handle your business. And you're very correct, Heckman. Uh, the penalties, what was it, 13? 13, yeah. Okay. You can beat a Giants team like that. Can you beat a Philly or a 49ers in the playoffs like that? We've you seen cannot. it last year. We'll have 14 exactly. penalties in last year playoffs. Can't you cannot. It. And the pre-snap penalties, and I don't know, how, how do you – how do you – how do you fix that? How do you address that? If you're Kellen Moore, you're in the room here, you know, first and 15, said that you, you, can win, you can win this week with that. 
but that's not going to get it done mm-hmm. Christmas Eve. Mm-hmm. So they, this is something they've got to work on as a team, and 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 it's 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 frustrating, Keck. It's frustrating because you just see that's that's what losing teams do. You're not you you can't go where you want to go, being undisciplined. No, and and obviously, you know, you could speak to this knowing what it takes to to get to that point where you could play for an AFC championship. Yeah. These guys are trying to get to the NFC championship to get to the opp- the opportunity to play for a Super Bowl. But you 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 hit the nail on the head with what happened versus San Francisco. Those penalties right now, as you stated, you can beat a Giants team, you can beat Indy, you can beat Houston. But the upper echelon teams, you're not going to be able to get away with that. Those things that kill drives. Mm-hmm. And then we're looking at Dak in the third and fifteen, having to play from you know behind the chains to get us a first down. And look, just being just being fair about it. That, those things, man, you cannot keep stack, stacking the odds against you like that and continue to come out on top. You can do that versus the bad teams. Mm-hmm. The good teams are not going to let you off the hook. And these these next couple of games, regardless of the opposition, these are the games that I feel like you can just make a concerted effort. Not that they come into games saying we're going to have penalties, yeah. dog. But <laughs> make a concert not to have those penalties. You can clean those things up so that when you get to the playoffs, that won't be something that's plaguing you because last year we beat ourselves. Yeah, you got to nip it in the bud. You got to nip it in yeah. the bud now Why you still have the opportunity to. Because last year what happened? You know, we were winning games, getting a lot of penalties. It kind of glossed over because they were winning. You know, when it gets down to nut cutting time, the penalties, they ended up biting us in the butt. So yeah. you got to nip it in the butt early before you get to that point where ain't no going back. You know, so you did, get did it done. Smith, those penalties against Smith that you saw versus Thibodeau, like, mm. were you like, oh, man. Like, some of those holding was, I, I'm beaten. I better grab him before he That's kill my was, quarterback. I can take those. <laughs> I can take those. Where, hey, he got me. Hey, you got me. Before he, before he get that, I got to hold him. I can deal yeah. with those. It's the self-inflicting yeah. jumping off sides or false starts. Those are the ones that just, like, drive you crazy as a coach. Yeah. Yes, because you can control those. You death. can control those. Pre-snaps are death. All right, let's get our first break in here. Are we buying what Jerry Jones is selling? Jerry Jones selling it, putting it on thick today. Mm. Let's dive into it with Heckma Harrison, Barry Church. I'm Dewey Scruggs. It's Players Lounge brought to you by Tostitos on DallasCowboys.com radio. With Smoothie King's original angel food and new angel food slim without added sugar, you no longer have to choose between treating yourself and hitting your goals this summer. You don't have to choose between great taste and feeling great. Because at Smoothie King, every blend is made with whole fruits and no syrups, so you can satisfy your cravings without compromise. The only choice you will need to make is which one is best for you. Try our classic angel food or the new angel food slim, blended without added sugar. Smoothie King, rule the day. Attention Cowboys fans looking for the best shave of your life. There's a new official razor of the Dallas Cowboys, Shave Logic. Imagine not having to buy blades as often and getting more smooth shaves than your old razor, guaranteed or your money back. After more than 10 years of research and over 150 company patents, ShaveLogic is proud to offer Cowboys fans a special offer. For a limited time, visit ShaveLogic.com and get a free $10 gift card with your purchase. Go to ShaveLogic.com now for more smooth shaves guaranteed. Nobody protects you from mayhem like Allstate. You hear that? I'm a torrential downpour. Torrential? What's that even mean? It means you can't see out of your windshield. And if you have the wrong car insurance, you might have to make it rain to fix your bumper. So switch to Allstate, save money, and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Based on coverage and limits selected, subject to terms, conditions, and availability. In most states, prices vary based on how you buy. Allstate Bar and Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. I'm Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. And they snap it to Prescott, who looks right, it's not there. He escapes left, he'll run for a first down. Just like football, when it comes to crypto, it's important to have a team you can trust. With Blockchain.com, I know I'm in good hands. Since 2011, they've been trusted by millions around the world to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrency. Prescott's going to run this himself. Run it up the middle, and he scores. Whether you're new to crypto or an active trader, they've got you covered. What are you waiting for? Get started at Blockchain.com. Back to the Players' Lounge. Get cozy and join us at the Star for our most festive movie night yet. Movie Nights at the Star presented by Monument Realty on November 30th featuring a Christmas classic, Elf. The show is free and open to the public and begins at 7 p.m. For more information, visit thestarandfrisco.com. 
Thank you. What? Thank you. You're welcome. Glad you got it done. Glad I got, got it done. done. Like a pre-snap penalty. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving quick, boy. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Harrison, very church. <laughs> New East Crooks. This is Play Aside. It's brought to you by Tostitos. Jerry Jones on his radio show this week on 105.3 The Fan. On if Beckham's recent plan, re, I should say recent plane incident, impacted their thinking about wanting him. Jerry Jones, quote, no, it did not. His overall team compatibility, his judgment, his behavior is not an issue with me. It is with many, but it's not with him. Boom. Mm. Next question. Jerry mm. Jones asks on his impressions after speaking with Beckham. Jerry, quote, very genuine, very competitive, feels confident, feels good about himself. I think he breeds confidence. Very, very compatible. We think he can fit in here really good. Next question. On Jerry to Jerry Jones needing Odell Beckham Jr. this season. Quote, we have to have this year. It's very important. The things to do have him impact this year. This year has to be a big part of it. He has to be a big part of it. We have six regular season games and the playoffs. We have, in my mind, almost the whole show ahead of us. We have got to have a situation where he can really contribute now. I just don't understand why. Oh, and they're meeting with him on Monday. <sighs> but why? I don't like. Do, do we think the Cowboys' offense really needs Odell Beckham Jr.? Like we, we act like Dak since he's been back hasn't been putting up points for this team. Am I correct in saying that he's been putting up points? Their formula is there. We see what happens when TP and Zeke get the football. All right. Play action pass. We see all that. <sighs> Why? All right. So enlighten so, me, Heck. No, Why? no, no. So Barry, no, you know, I know what you're doing. So I wanna I wanna I wanna bring you over to the positive heck side. Okay. All, all right. right. Let's do a little positive heck probe here. All right. The Cowboys understand that their chance for winning a Super Bowl is now. They thought it was last year. All right, especially if Jerry was talking about how healthy the team was and all of that. Super Bowl. Super Bowl, all right? Super Bowl. Felt like that. Felt like that because of what they had. No, seriously. So now you got a guy like Odell Beckham coming in from an ACL injury, and he could possibly potentially help your offense. That is, in times you saw versus the Philadelphia Eagles, a little in that. That was weeks ago. Honest, no, no, no. It was. Cooper Rush. Cooper Rush. Cooper. See that? Cooper Rush. You bring in a weapon like Odell Beckham. Is he a weapon, though? Well, I don't, that's all I'm but, saying. But, but the know. question is, if you're basing it off of last year, this time, when I don't believe was, well, yeah, when he got to the, to the Rams, mm-hmm. did he improve – that Rams offense. He did. But that. his knee was fine. Yeah. No, but his knee was fine. And they had also, think about the weapons that they had. Higby, Cooper Cup. Come on, dog. They had some bona fide guys over there as well. Mm-hmm. What could he bring if, let's just say, said ACL is good? What could he bring to this team? We talked about the ramp up, heck. I understand. And the question was asked because Michael Irvin said, let's not think about Odell Beckham in terms of this year. Maybe it's for next year. And that's why Jerry said, no, it's this year. We're gonna, he's he's got to make an impact this year. And so I'm playing the devil's advocate here, guys. Come on now. Help me out. I'm trying to add some positivity to it. Nah, no? Man. God, dog. No. Yeah. Like in your hearts of hearts. You said Super Bowl. You think he can have that big of an impact? Like if you're you really looking at the guy, do you really think he can have – that much of an impact where it's like, man, we got to get this guy on the roster. Church, I said from the beginning that I, I felt like the tight end group was good enough to give you everything that you desired from a, a three receiver. Um, I also mentioned that Michael Gallup's knee wasn't right. Mm-hmm. And we're seeing him now make some – I don't know who got in his ear and told him, dog, you are fine. You know, yeah. come out – and he's playing like a guy that is, is believing in his knee. He wasn't when he came back. Um I don't want a guy to come in here and mess up the chemistry that these guys have. But also, if you can get a guy that comes in, not only galvanize this team or give them more confidence because he is a champion, that can't hurt either. Okay. He is OBJ. Let's not act like he had, he ain't that boy. Okay? But I, that's all I'm saying. If he can come in here and give you quality minutes, give you some time, give you some possessions, I think it's worth it. My thing is, you know how big of a presence he is on social media, right? He's all over social media. Where, where are the videos of this man cutting? This man getting right on the field. Those, this, de- those dance tapes? Those dance tapes. Where, where the hoes at? 
Because I don't think he's at that point yet. I don't think he's even close to being at that because we would have seen it. We would have seen right. this guy out there. Let me get these one on one. You see him out here one handed catching still. You see him out here dunking on the goal. But we don't see none of that. And no. We haven't seen any of that. So I don't know if he's not there yet or he just, you know, he's keeping it a mystery. I don't know. But I just don't think he's at the point where he can go out there and immediately impact your team right now. I, I don't think he's there. Somebody's going to see it when he does come into the office and they're going to – the doctors are going yeah, to be waiting on him. The him. doctors are going to be waiting on him at the door when he get here. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, that's all true. that speculation and all what your tape said and all that, let's go out the window. I don't want to see a tape of him running in a straight line, the camera shaking and all that, and the music in the back. Nah, I get oh, enough oh. of it. No, nah, I don't need none of that. You know those wire receiver drills that – Ooh, ooh, I don't care nothing about none of that. Bones <laughs> moving. <Yeah. laughs> no, dog. The dance tape? I don't want to see. I don't want to see none of that. Go no. bloody. No. No. I want to see the business. You will call them the dance tape. <laughs> <laughs> the cold. dance chronicle. Stop, dude. <laughs> No, he ain't right, bro. Cold. Yeah, you're yeah. cold. You're cold piece of work, man. You put it all out there, man. Yeah, right? You put it all out there, right? Oh, he, was the, he was the route yeah. coach, you know? Charlie. Yeah, Bobby Bell, Jane Slater, they were out there, you know? They're just they're documenting they're, it, right? Retweeting it all that. <laughs> ready, ready. I'll just say, oh, when it comes to Odell, man, like, like you said, if he could come back, you know, 70% of what he once was, okay, that's, that's all right. We can work with that. But after his second ACL, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm questioning it. Yeah, I'm doubting. I'm doubting it a little when bit. When you say multi-year contract, I, 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 I can't do it. I can't do it. There, there has to be some escape clauses in there too. Um, it, it's just it, it. What we're hearing that he wants a multi-year contract, I would have an issue with that. Not having seen the knee in action. Yeah. That's that's just too, that's too much. That's too much considering you've got so many other quality football players who are going to be free agents after the season. Anthony Brown is going to be mm-hmm. up. Dalton Schultz is going to be up. Um, your right tackle, Terrence Steele, is going to be a restricted free agent. Mm. Late Van Der Esch is going to be – he's going to be up. Um, you're going to have uh, Diggs going into to year four because yeah, he's only got a four-year deal. Yep. Then you got C.D. Lamb who's on a five-year deal, but so you could also negotiate with him. You, you're going to have some – Pollard. Pollard is a free agent. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're starting, yes. you know. Connor McGovern is, is going to be a free agent. Um, you, you've got, you know, you've got some, some, some. The bazooka is coming, right? You, you're going to have guys that you're going to have to pay, and you're going to have to, at some point in time, figure out, okay, uh, where where are resources best spent? Yeah. How much money can you afford to put into a guy, and you have not seen him play? Is he what he used to be? Not that he's going to be Russell Wilson, but mm. you think about. Hey, Russell Wilson, older player, not injured, but older player who can't do what he used to do. If you sign Odell Beckham Jr. and he's not doing what he used to do, and you're sitting here holding the bag. Look, Buffalo, Buffalo went out on the ledge to, to sign Von Miller. Mm-hmm. Von Miller, one of the apex uh Fires in who the I game. said to I said they should have signed here. You know me. You know I was all about Vaughn here. But but I'm saying like that was that was risky business doing that. Mm-hmm. Buffalo brings in Vaughn and Vaughn galvanizes that defense. It's not like that defense needed much, but you saw you can see the effect that Vaughn Miller has on it. Right. Closing games. You you, you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And 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 that's my only point about Odell. I don't think that this offense necessarily needs him. Mm-hmm. All right, it, especially. From where they've been the last couple of weeks, we've seen C.D. Lamb the mature as a as a one. All right, mm-hmm. we've seen Michael Gallup's game come around. I just think that he's a piece that you can add to give confidence to even those young guys that admired and looked up to him. Just think about what Vaughn what Vaughn is doing for that defense and the way that those guys look at him in his career. So that's all I'm saying. Now the 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 long term contract and all of those things. Those guys at the front office are going to take care of all of that, right? The leadership standpoint, I, I, I do not doubt you on it all. Yeah. I'm very much in agreement there. Um, obviously, the difference with Vaughn and when he went to Buffalo, Vaughn didn't have an, a knee issue. Mm-hmm. I mean, if, if Odell Beckham Jr. is not hurt, and the way he – because I was there that day at SoFi Stadium, um, and he finishes that football game, I'm not sure that Cooper Cup is the MVP. Yeah, he probably um, yeah. and, and he he, <clears throat> he probably is a Ram or he's he's somewhere else yeah. um, based off the way he, w- he was balling in that game. I'm just concerned about the knee and his ability to play. We've seen Michael Gallup, who has gotten better, 
I think Michael, we saw last game, I think Michael Gallup's coming yeah, around he's here. He's starting to come and, around. And, and so I don't know why Odell Beckham Jr. is probably not going to be on that same type of trajectory in terms of it's going to take you a while to ramp up, going to take you a while to get in some games that feel good. He's also a lot older than, than MG. Yes, he is older. Second ACL. And, and so what's left at the end of the year by the time he does all that? And How old is Odell Beckham? He got to be 30s. He came yeah. in at 14, right? Yeah, he came. No, yeah, he came in rookie year was 14. Well, he and so, Zach yeah, came that's in that same class. Yeah, he got to be at least 30, 31. Okay. So that th- those are my those are my concerns. I'm telling you, heck, one year deal, okay, fine, write the check. Yeah. You start talking about multi year deals. How much is leadership and worth hey, to you? Your boy James Washington's supposed to be coming back. Oh, the man. Go on with that, man. <laughs> yo, I mean, y'all be shaming look, yourself. Look the way the you corner. do that, the way look you do no, no, Yo, you are seriously corner. a problem. Somebody yo, look around the corner. Yo, this, this guy right here. Right here James James like he just ran off the sticks, <laughs> man. <laughs> Foot is healed. Foot is healed like Mr. Me. Like Irving was coming around. Mr. Miyagi went in there. Yeah. No, man. Stop, man. That man said, no, man. Ah, man said James so, Washington around I'm the corner. I'm just telling you what Jerry said. What <laughs> Jerry said on his show. Right around the, co- right around the corner, man. That's going to be a ramp up, too. Uh, you know? Yeah. A 21-day ramp up for I mean, James Washington. Jalen Tober going to be in trouble if James is back. He got to line up first. He got line up. James going to be in his shirt. That sweatshirt. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, well, let's go, boys. I'm uh, just in the Cowboy collect- Christmas collection out there on the sideline. <laughs> you check that new hoodie out, Tolbert? Hat? Man, it was fire on the Fire. I need what it is. It is fire. <laughs> Get it, the Cowboy Killing them. shop for Christmas. <laughs> Killing them. <laughs> where would the pros wear? <laughs> my bad, Tolbert, man. We, yeah, my bad, man. What, if James Washington's coming back, he, he's he's going down. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah he I is. mean, he is. you know, if Odell Beckham Jr. Come, I mean, look, if there's somebody, you know, we talked about talk Noah Brown, but somebody <laughs> who should really be upset is Jalen it's Jalen Tolbert because it's, no. it's Tolbert. Now Jalen Tolbert, he's he's gotten his medicine, and for a first year, <laughs> he's got his medicine. And I think, I mean, look, you gotta think of all the words the guy said before he came in here, and not to be a guy that's contributing on game day, a guy that's been in that, he that a healthy. Sc- he did that to himself. <laughs> I'm gonna change the culture. culture, right? Come on, he big old spoon, open what? up. Here you go. And Odell just turned thirty, November fifth. Yeah, he yeah. just turned thirty okay. years all old. Right. So I mean, come on, man. We'd be like the South Alabama Jaguars. Tober, man, I, look, I, I was hopeful for Jalen Tober. Yeah. I thought he was going to come in here and we do his like thing. We all like the cheese. We all like yeah, the cheese. Yeah, man. Like, man. He could be that it. guy. Could I'll be that guy. Yeah, and maybe Noah that. Brown. I mean, like, Noah Brown is still around, man. He's still doing his thing. I mean, so nobody's much. talking about <laughs> Noah Brown. They disrespected Noah. Disrespected Noah. So, so much. Man. God, dog. Noah ain't The dapping. disregard. He ain't dapping nobody up in that locker room no. right now. He just, I'm here to work. I'm just here to come to work, man. <laughs> it's we, cold work, man. It's cold a, world, man. Better get a blanket. He's still getting, he's still getting a check. He still is. A check. This is facts. He's still catching passes. He's had a good enough year to where even if he's not here next year, he'll he'll, he'll catch around somewhere. You know, he's had a good Boom. enough year. This, this man will be in the National Football League yes. somewhere next year. There's yes. no doubt about that. So I full full faith in him, man. Full faith. Let's get a break. Let's get a break. Let's get a break. Heckman Harrison. <laughs> Barry Church, I'm not laughing at that. I knew he's going to explain that. Out. <laughs> right to you, buddy. Tostitos <laughs> on Dallas Cowboys. I got it. Man. Nobody protects you from mayhem like Allstate. You hear that? I'm a torrential downpour. Torrential? What's that even mean? It means you can't see out of your windshield. And if you have the wrong car insurance, you might have to make it rain to fix your bumper. So switch to Allstate, save money, and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Based on coverage and limits selected, subject to terms, conditions, and availability. In most states, prices vary based on how you buy. Allstate Bar and Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. I'm Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. And they snap it to Prescott, who looks right, it's not there. He escapes left, he'll run for a first down. Just like football, when it comes to crypto, it's important to have a team you can trust. With blockchain.com, I know I'm in good hands. Since 2011, they've been trusted by millions around the world to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrency. Prescott's going to run this himself. Run it up the middle, and he scores. Whether you're new to crypto or an active trader, they've got you covered. What are you waiting for? Get started at blockchain.com. Want to use what the pros use? How about the official men's skincare brand of the Dallas Cowboys? Jack Black. 
Right now, you can get the Jack Black Starter, a curated collection of Cowboys locker room favorites for just 10 bucks with free shipping. The starter includes four Jack Black skincare favorites plus a full-sized intense therapy lip balm. Go to getjackblack.com slash cowboys and use the code word TEAMJB. That's getjackblack.com slash cowboys. The Jack Black Starter, 10 bucks. Free shipping! But Smoothie King's original angel food and new angel food slim without added sugar. You no longer have to choose between treating yourself and hitting your goals this summer. You don't have to choose between great taste and feeling great. Because at Smoothie King, every blend is made with whole fruits and no syrups. So you can satisfy your cravings without compromise. The only choice you will need to make is which one is best for you. Try our classic angel food or the new angel food slim, blended without added sugar. Smoothie King, rule the day. Back to the Players' Lounge. Tis the season for Dallas Cowboys Holiday Youth Camps presented by Invisalign. Registration for one-day football and dance academy camps are open now. Don't miss your chance to send your athlete to camp at AT AT&T Stadium on December 20th and 21st. Register today at DallasCowboys.com slash academy and use code XMAS25 to get $25 off. And that's XMAS25. Thank you, Heckman Harrison. That's me. Barry Church. Yes, all. Former Toledo Rocket. Rockets mm-hmm. are playing for the MAC championship. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The MAC. The MAC action. So if they win, you gonna buy one of the championship shirts? Mm-hmm. We gotta buy the shirt. We gotta buy the shirt. Have it shipped down here to him. <laughs> Not a shirt. Bring it down. We get the shirt for you, dog. Don't worry I'm about it. Like, Fifteen dollars, man. We get the shirt. Nah, nah, the shirt. You can tell Heck was new to the show. <laughs> yeah, no, we, get you, we get you the shirt, dog. Let's get you the Secret Santa. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, Elf on the shelf. There it is. See? Yeah. There you good go, people right brother, there. Brother Claus, right here. Go right here. <laughs> good people right here, man. It, talking about a guy that went up there, went all the, the way best. through the campus, took his kids through the campus, had everything hanging up here for you. Like, come on, man. Don't be like. Like that, yeah, man. No, we didn't. Which, go, we we did not go to the campus, sir. It was it was a a college recruiting day at at, at the ooh. high school. Oh, high that's school. right, that's right. That's okay, right. I thought you went through the campus and brother, did all that. No, brother. I, I, the last time I was in Ohio was a Hall of Fame. That was it? And then Canton is now, the other side yeah, of the state. Now story. you're getting to the point where you're having to take trips to college, do college tours, and all of that oh. too, right? Yeah, yeah. But we won't be going to Toledo. No. Well, what's wrong with that? Wow. Man. Wow. Yeah. Man. I feel a whoop man. coming on. Let's Dang. go. Dang, that's, that's okay, wild, man. Tell you, keep, keep it 100 right here, Heck. When I moved up to Cleveland from Austin, yeah. I bought clothes I'd never heard of. Okay. <laughs> then the other thing that hit me, like, first of all, I didn't have clothes for this. Um, so that 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 put me in the hole having to buy clothes. Mm-hmm. And the other there. thing that didn't I didn't understand Heckman was that the sun made guest appearances. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot of gray up like, there. Like, it, is today a, a day? Like, yeah. Well, where's the sun? This is what you get. Right. <laughs> and I I just, know, man. this was no. This was just no way I wanted to live. I was like, no, no. So if it's me, I know. I know my children can't sit up here and go live with that. So, yeah. so no. No, it's not happening. Nah. No, you almost there too, heck, right? They're, they're California people. Oh no, yeah, he's so young, right? He still got okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I still got some. Well, I have, <clears throat> I have an older daughter graduated from Howard University. My oh, second right. oldest okay. graduated from hey, Texas you. Tech. You know what I mean? So, oh, no, okay. Yeah, so, so, oh, so you been, been, yeah, you done been in. Oh, G in this game, dog. Yeah, I done been here, done that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and, and I lived in Cleveland. Okay. Yeah. Cleveland, Toledo, big difference. Yeah. Big difference. These are, these are facts. Yes. <laughs> He's not arguing with that. I'm not. Nope. No, 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 no. no, 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 no arguing look, that. All he needed was a better offer. He would have he he wouldn't have been in Toledo either. <laughs> Who yeah. offer? Who I had some I had some nice ones. Who you so the, the main ones that came down to West Virginia, that's when they was like number two in the country. They had Pat White, Slayton, and them okay. boys. I right, so I had West V, Michigan State, but they wanted me to play receiver and I wasn't getting hit. So I was like, nah. Cincinnati and then Toledo. Yeah. Yeah. Help me understand. I want. I had to play early. I wanted to play as soon as I stepped on campus. And in them other places, I would have had to wait my turn. So I was like, you know what? Let me play early. It ended up working out for the kid. You know, it, it worked out for the kid. It, it, it worked out for the kid. But that's how I went down. I was like, I gotta play now. I want. I ain't want to wait. You didn't slide you any bread? Nah, that was before the bread days, man. Well, at least I wasn't getting no bread, like you know. So. So when you got on campus, did you find that other people had bread? Yeah, they started giving out the they called it the turnover sock, you know. 
something in the sock. Ain't gonna hey, yo, hey, yo, <laughs> hey, yo. Let's come on, man. I remember the time I... Uh, I'm snitching. <laughs> Barry Larkin. I absolutely... I, I, I love Barry Larkin. Barry Larkin is one of my all-time favorites, man. Yo. And uh, Barry Larkin was from Cincinnati... And Lark went to school at Michigan. Oh, they got us. And I, and I asked him, I said, so how did they take care of you at Michigan? He's like, oh, I sold programs on game day at the big house. Yeah, like, what? Yeah. So program costs a dollar. He would get $100 a program. You know, mm. the alums were like, hey, hey. So they knew who he was. I was right. like, yeah, that's, that, that, that's the way to do it right there. Like, that's, that's, hey. that's how they're supposed to take care of you. We man. called it per diem. <laughs> <laughs> that's how y'all got down. Per diem. Call it per diem. Yeah, yeah. Get that per diem, baby. The UNT or? or Most schools? Oh, it's K-State. No, nah, wasn't no UNT, none of that. There was, there was no per diem Ooh, at the UNT? Ooh, was no, no. <laughs> Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Chicken Express. Not even Rudy's? <laughs> Not even, no. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> Rudy. Even Rudy's barbecue? Nah. Is this all sort of? No, no. Man, they hit you with the Chick-fil-A. Huh? Nah, well, hopefully we they've changed that. that now. The UNT is playing for the uh, conference championships. So yeah, no, they got everybody got the NIO now, bro. The NIO. Everybody Oh, it's popping. It is. Oh. <laughs> they should get Bush's his Heisman back, man. All this, you know what I mean? And how about that? Getting paid and how about that? Just give that man his bread back. You know? Just give it back to him. USC kid. did it right, though. USC did it right. I mean, they took care of the family. They made sure everything was good, man. Come on. <laughs> USC did it right, man. They took care of them boys. I like that. <laughs> Pete, Pete was, hey, hey Pete man. was hell. Pete, hey. Pete, what is Pete going back to John, John and Kevin, hey, OJ, you know, hey, can my best friend AC come? Yes, he can. <laughs> yes, he can. Come on, too. Who else? Who else you need? Juice? No, nah, man. <laughs> juice. Hey, man. I'll tell you, man, the juice was the, the juice was. Was the, he that guy that dude, like he was that guy? Oh the juice was that dude, man. man. First time I saw the juice was on what was that movie back? The funny movie back in the day. Airplane? Nah. No, the with, naked uh, gun. This Leslie, Leslie Nielsen or whatever. The, the naked Leslie? gun yeah. series. The naked that, gun that, series. That's what the first time I seen OJ. Hey, man, I was just the juice, like, the juice was, was cold, man. The juice he was, was cold, cold like man. That. He was, man. And, and 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 I won't lie, man. When I was there, you know. I was still one of those closet juice fans around campus. Man. Was you walking around with the, with the juice jersey? Yeah, you had a juice yeah, jersey. Yeah, I had a juice yeah. jersey, but it was like, hey, man. <laughs> you talking about the highest with trophy. Juice was that guy, man. Juice was that guy. You ever check out that juice Twitter? The juice? Juice, uh, juice be going cool, crazy juice, on that Twitter, the juice man. Juice Twitter is pretty good, man. Juice Twitter pretty good. Uh, <laughs> we have not talked about young Dak Prescott here. Um, it's amazing what happens after. That was a hell of a transition. That was. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I am, I'm a professional. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you win some games, we don't, you know, we don't even bring them up. Well, no. You lose a game, ah, him. He went. They win. It's like he was barely a part of it. Yeah. But we, we don't say anything. Nationally, nothing. Nothing. It's it's amazing. You know, it, he, I did call. I don't bet, but I did call two touchdowns. I was like, hey man, you don't have two touchdowns in this game. He had two touchdowns in the tight ends here. But but it is amazing that um, you know. You don't talk about him at all. They, if they win and cover like I think they should against the Colts, we will not talk about Dak Prescott again. Mm -mm. And in some ways, I guess it's the gift and the curse of, of who he is, being the Dallas Cowboy quarterback. Uh, you get all the blame in a loss, mm -hmm. and you get very little credit in the wins right now. That's how it's rolling for Dak Prescott. Yeah, I mean, it, it's all that storm. When you got that thing on the side of your helmet, man, you get all the criticism. Everybody loves – to hate the Dallas Cowboys, I've, I've come to notice that, like, if, especially in the national media, I mean, they, they they just love to just say, you know, he he's just not good enough. He the guy could be twenty three or twenty five, two hundred seventy five yards, three tubs, but he threw that one interception, that one interception, and they gonna put that under a microscope, man. So he's got something that he's going to, have to deal with for the rest of his career. No, you know, has to work to prove himself week in and week out to deserve the contract week in and week out. It's damn if he do, damn if he don't. We had Tad Prescott on. Yeah. And, I mean, he has some 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 criticism for the media as well. And I, I think it's not misplaced uh, when he says it. I mean, he brings up the same point. I mean, it's, it's when he loses, he's garbage. When he wins, mums the word. Yeah. Nobody has anything to say. It's because of the defense. It's but of it's, yeah. it's really going to come down to the playoffs for Dak. If, that's it. If he can well, win games I, in the playoffs, then he can shut everybody up. Well, it was the same thing for Tony <clears throat> Romo. I mean, that that that's the ultimate you know judgment barrier for Cowboy quarterbacks. But you know, I just the amount of radio interviews I do where people, oh, well, he's a forty million dollar quarterback. I was like, you know, Kyler Murray making forty six, right? It's a you want to talk about you want to talk, mm -hmm. talk about Kyler Murray? But did you see what he said? Yeah, that no, that's crazy. Ky Kyler Murray coming out there throwing the coach out of there. Oh, oh, I hear that. Oh, we're structurally we're effed. structurally yeah we're structurally effed. Um, talking about a play that they they, they 
Yeah. I mean, oh, he it cocky is, like Rocky, though. Yeah. I mean, at the <laughs> at the end of the day, it's just kind of interesting of of what you look. You know this because you play here. There's more that comes with the forty million dollars or whatever it is you're getting. The forty nine million that Russell Wilson. Gets. There's there's other things that come with it, and that leadership component of it and how you com- you you carry yourself with the franchise that's never been a question about that Prescott, ever Mm-mm. ever but it is with certain players and when you see russ wilson get yelled at by a defensive player and in the whole less broncos ride and everybody playing around with you, and you had the the burns kid the, de- the good, good defensive player mm-hmm. from from carolina he's standing up there sniffing like russell wilson <laughs> I mean, it's become. I mean, you got Justin Tucker on a plane laughing about Russ Wilson. I mean, was, right, was. that kind of stuff, and, and you don't see that with Dak Prescott. People, people aren't, and you know, you get because you play. Yeah. There's respect for Dak in yes, the league is. that is not afforded some other players here. But it's just very interesting. Once in time, heck, is you lose, you stink, you're this. Play Cooper Rush, you win. It's like, uh, hey, Michael Parsons. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. You know, yeah, that's the real talk. Right hey, there. Man, I like that. Look at the kickers playing. What the tight is playing? Whack a mole. Your kicker kicked the sixty yard. It was like yeah, I like that. You know, you know, Ford did something, right? He did play. It was just That's like it, it was. I'm telling you, man, it's hilarious. And I noticed this too, how the press conferences go. A lot more dudes <laughs> are in the Dak press conference after a loss, versus if the Cowboys win. A lot more people that kind of in the mm. room. Yeah, it's it's a very interesting dynamic. Now I'll also say this: when the Cowboys lose, there are a lot less available players. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't like, say it. Can't go to that a, shower it's quick. A, it's a lot less available players, but but the quarterback will always talk, and he'll he'll talk last year. So, um, yes. I went and looked up Rocky yesterday too, man. I appreciate that, bro. There you go. There I you saw go. that. I like that. I'm but I'm I'm, a, I'm gonna get some way. I'm gonna, somehow I'm gonna get my get back. Yeah. I'm thinking church socks and flip flops. Ooh. For the loss, y'all gonna with get the, with the with the joint in the, the yeah toes, yeah the toes. yeah some kind some gotta come. <laughs> I gotta get some get back. I got to get my lick back. Yeah, it's two forty six. So Heckman, thank you for joining us <laughs> on the show today. <laughs> Get Along with uh, Barry Church. I'm going to get my leg back. Good night. This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah!